Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for updates on all of our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. So thanks for joining us on our Keto journey. Of um, itchy nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so we got Betsy in here. So Hi, it's Betsy. Pamela and Hi, Pamela. Jill. Hi, Carrie. Uh, Carrie's here as well. Becca. So is Dennis. Hi, uh, Dennis. Lori's here. So Joanne, good morning, everyone from Mesa, Arizona. And it's a wet, cold morning. Oh, yeah, it's wet here, too. Yeah, we, we were supposed to get some snow, but instead we got a bunch of rain down here in the valley. And Sam which I'm happy so about. sad because he and his friends spent Built like 10 hours getting all the snow on the lawn into the center of the <laughs> lawn, and there's grass everywhere. And they made an igloo and a big old seat yep. thing and like a little castle-y thing. Yeah, they spent so long. So this morning we got up at 5. And it was raining still. And he says, can I look outside? And he looks at his thing and it's like... <laughs> well, it's, it's bound to happen sometime. I know. But I wish it would have lasted like one more day. Okay. Right? It's still out there. Luke says, morning. Jackie's here. Kathleen says, good morning. Good, how, happy Monday. Hi. Peace of the season. Uh, Jackie likes your pigtails. Thank you. Uh, Shauna says, good morning. Chris Mearing Stwan is here as well. Had a work call and got off early. Oh, nice. nice. Isn't it nice when you get like that 15 minutes back? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Flat River Keto is here. So is Goomba Lord. Oh, wow. Hi. It's doing a dance. It's a Goomba. Goomba Goomba. Jack says, good morning. You're listening from work. Nice. Rick one's here as well. Uh, let's see. Lori says, good morning. Um, did I say Lynette's here? So is Teresa. And Hi, Lynette. Val. Esther says, I have two Keto Chow in the freezer for yes. Creamy. I just got. Good morning, everyone from Texas. Nice. Uh, Shauna says, put that sticky bun in my coffee, a morning shake. Nice. We do still have the pecan sticky bun in stock. Available. It's getting kind of low, um, but it is, yeah, we still have it. We thought it would last a lot longer. I, I think it'll probably sell out soon. Okay. Have a, but yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I don't know if it's a hair or a scab on my neck right there. Uh, it could just be itchy. It could be. It could yeah. be fun, though. It could be. If you want to know what that's from, it's from a studio. There's studio C. Okay. It's still there. Okay, Sean says, oh, yeah, that was what Sean said. Red Wine says, good morning from Lovelock, uh, Nevada. Betsy says, it's a crazy warmish weather in Chicago. Mm. Wow. Anyway, Chris says, good morning from Erie, Pennsylvania. Hi, Chris. Grandma Sandy says, morning, my car covered with three inches of snow in wow, Caldwell, wow, wow. Idaho. Um, we did a, oh, we, we did a, a work Christmas party. Oh, yeah. And one of the things that people could put in to win was one of those um, uh, di windshield, windshield cover. covers. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I should have maybe put mine on, but it stopped snowing, so. Stuong says, I feel like Miriam always gets comments on the great, her hair looks today, so I'm going to say, looks like you got a haircut and it still looks great. You're still complimenting Miriam because she's the one that cut it. I didn't get a haircut. No, you're the one that cut my hair. I did. I cut it. Then I vacuumed the floor. Uh, Sandy says, my sticky bun comes today. Can't Yay. wait. H. Cooper is here as well. Jackie says, I finally ordered a bag of Steve's Flavor for $45 after my wow, wow, wow. credits. Getting antsy for it to ship. I'm glad you got those credits. Yeah. So the store, yeah, the store credit is awesome. It's, it's like Kohl's cash, but it doesn't expire in a week. That's true. Which, which is reminds what, me, I need to go to Kohl's. Oh, because you need to take some I stuff back. I have some back. returns. I love that Amazon return at Kohl's. Then they give you a five dollar <laughs> gift certificate, and you're like, well, I guess I have to buy something. Yeah, but you can use it that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can use my Kohl's cash from last week. Okay. Uh, exchange student was just watching Ivor Cummins. Oh, nice. I saw him pop up today. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, MG3919 says, my sticky buns come in today. Yay. Crafting Carnivorish carnivore says, good morning. Debbie mm -hmm. says, good morning from Texas. Postal worker just delivered my order with pecan sticky bun, making it delicious. Yes, with Debbie, waffles. What a delicious morning. By the way, um, if you ever, if you have an order that says it's delivered and it's mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. um, please contact the post office. Because if that happens, 
what usually it means is that yep. the postal delivery person mark they scanned, they scanned it, everything as they put it in the truck as as opposed to when it was actually delivered um, and that is something that they're not supposed to do uh, their management has told them not to do that and they if if it happens you you contact your local post office mm -hmm. and they will tail on them well you're giving them an opportunity to improve their right. customer service that's true because they can look up and see where the stuff was scanned as delivered. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't at your house, then they can figure out where it actually was delivered. And sometimes they scanned it at the wrong house. Yeah. Um, I actually had that happen once where I, I had some stuff coming for me and I got someone else's package yeah. and they got mine. And, I drove, and they were just in their neighborhood, but I drove over to their house and I really wanted that uh, stuff. And so- So you're like, we Right. Well, I, I'm like, they weren't home, and so I went to put it in their mailbox, and there was my package. And I was like, uh, yoink. Guess I'll take that. <laughs> oh, no. Taking stuff out of somebody else's mailbox. Yeah, technically that's illegal. I actually got a package, a huge package from Target, Target. and it was in our house. And I'm like, what did I get from Target that was this big? Or from Target at all, because I swear I didn't order anything from Target. And before I opened it, which is surprising that I actually looked at the pack, the address. It yeah. said somebody else's name oh. and address. And I'm oh. like, oh, that's not me. I didn't order anything from Target. <laughs> but they happened to live like around the block from us. So nice. I looked them up in the telephone directory, you know, because that's a thing. They used to exist. And I called them and I said, hey, I have your package. Is this you? And she said, yes. And I brought it over to her house. Okay. Dennis is the Studio C, right? Um, let's see. Carrie has some questions about iron supplementation that I'm not comfortable answering um, a medical question mm. like that on the live stream. Um, you can contact our customer service, though, and they might be able to answer that. Yeah, or your doctor. Yep, or your doctor. Um, I well, think that he may not be able to afford a doctor, which... Well, or the VA actually might yeah, be a the good, VA is good a help. Good place. Uh, exchange student says my sticky buttons come today also, but I really want to know is how to get on the early mailing list. What early mailing list? Oh, for for us, we don't have our early mailing list. We have an email list that we yep. send to everybody. So if you want to get on that list, you can go. Is it at the bottom of the page? Uh, there is. Well, to just get to sign just up to, get to subscribe. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. at the bottom of the page. Sharon about Sandy says, I love those credits. Yay. Uh, Lady Fritzader says, what's the best use of the sticky bun for most flavor? Truffles? I, I make it into a shake or a Ninja Creamy. You've had that more as a Ninja Creamy than anything else, right? The pecan? Sticky yeah. bun? Yeah. I've had it a couple times as, yeah. as a creamy and I think only one time as a shake. Becca says, it makes a wonderful mug cake. Oh, yeah. Nancy says, in your Facebook support group, people talk about using keto chow hot and that the vitamins don't need to wait for hours when prepare hot. So... The reason why we recommend to let keto chow sit yep. after mixing is that it takes a little while in cold water for the vitamins and minerals and protein to dissolve. If you use warm water, it dissolves almost immediately. That's it. That's, that's like the entirety of it. It's entirely about taste and flavor and has nothing to do with the how well the vitamins work or how nutritious the shake is it's just it tastes a little different until those dissolve and if you use warm water you skip that step you can also make hot chocolate and it's delicious yeah it is <laughs> so. and if you happen to mix them up wrong your water is not cold or too cold when you're mixing butter with yeah, it yes so you get and chunks you get of butter chunks. Heat Easy it up fix. again. If you don't want to eat it hot, put it back into the fridge. But once you heat it up and then shake it, it shouldn't have butter pieces okay. in it. Okay. Uh, Jack says every time I have it in Amazon return, it's never through Kohl's. Uh, that mm. might be because it might not have been fulfilled by Amazon. Yeah, the stuff that you were buying. Uh, Crafty Carnivore says I also use oh, my credits true. to save on a big bag of pecan sticky bun. It's delicious, by Yay. the way. Sky says, a minute late, but sitting still for a while so I can catch up with everyone. How are you, Sky? Betsy says, I'm adding more fat slowly to my, for my MS and depression uh -huh. and keeping my cars below 10, but I put on six pounds in barely oh. three weeks. Well, how do you feel? 
does that does that matter? Is the weight loss the most important thing, or is your brain health more important? Oh, so wow. that's something just to think about. Gary says, I bought some keto chow and thought that you would get points for what you ordered, and I didn't. Contact our customer service people. Yeah, they'll look the, at your account. Your see. order confirmation email, just reply to it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. They can look it up. And you also don't get the um, the store credit Immediately. for seven days yeah. after your order is So it's is possible. Left. It's there. You just didn't see it yet. Yep. It's pending. But yeah. customer service can look that up. They definitely will do that. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer says, anyone know about the hotel in Austin? If that's a good hotel. So we are staying at a, a uh, VRBO, Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah. We're, we're renting a house outside the city because we have a huge team. So I don't know about that hotel. You don't have to stay at the hotel that they uh, recommend. But it's not, the hotel is not the place that it's at. It's at an event center. Yep. So I, w I always, when, yep. when there's a show and the hotel is at the same, it, it's held at a hotel. That's, it's a little bit convenient because you don't have to go as far. But uh, since you have to drive anyway. Yep. Mike is here. Carrie says, sorry, Chris. No need to be sorry. Nope. No uh, let's see. Marie says, post office saying things were delivered when it, it's not happens a lot here. Yeah. Also, we get others mail a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Cynthia says, I got my first order of keto chow today. So Yay, excited. Cynthia, nice. tell us what flavor you like. Rita is here. Shauna says, my mail person puts our condo packages in a parcel box, then puts the key in the wrong cubby. Oh, that's darn that's, it. that's worse than not delivering it. Yeah. Uh, Pamela made maple waffle custard. Ooh, that sounds good. And the sky is sad. Missed the maple, but we got the uh, pecan today. Yes. Nice. Uh, let's see. Andy says, my sticky bun and chocolate mint is coming today. Awesome. Uh, Michelle says, the pecan, sticky, the pecan sticky bun reminds me a bit of devotion monkey bread flavor. Oh, okay. Did anyone else notice? I haven't had that flavor, so I don't know, but... It makes sense yeah, since it's similar either. in yeah. flavor. Lisa is here as well. Says good morning to us. Gravity says I made the sticky bun is ice cream. It muted the flavors a little, but some of it melted. And when I drank that, the flavor was awesome. Nice. Julie says hot chocolate is the best. Yeah, I, I honestly think chocolate keto chow as hot chocolate is as good or better than most commercially available hot chocolate things like Swiss Miss or whatever. Yeah. I think it tastes just awesome. I had it as hot chocolate this weekend. Vera says, hello, Utah kids. Hello. Uh, exchange students, does anyone have a monkey bread or cinnamon roll recipe uh, with the pecan sticky bun flavor? Uh, not yet. Um, we haven't made any recipes for the maple waffle or the pecan sticky bun. Mm -hmm. We decided that we weren't going to be do, po posting recipes on our site unless it's a flavor that is going to be stay. permanent. So, and we weren't sure about either of those. So, that's why we didn't post recipes of them. Because it's a lot of work to mm -hmm. uh, get those posted. Um, Bertolos Paint says, I'm late. Happy Monday. Uh, let's see. Oh, Linda says, Two Crazy Ketos made the sticky buns into chaffles. And oh, they said it was delicious. That's a good idea. Yep. Okay, we do have a cinnamon roll recipe uh, that's actually a uh, person community Yeah, recipe. that was, uh, I'm trying to remember who that I was. I don't remember who it was either. But it it is it, a little bit complicated. And it does use yeast, if I if it's the one yeah, that I'm thinking I think of. it also has a little bit of sugar. Just a little bit of sugar to activate, to activate the, yeast. The, yeast. the yeast. And then it eats So all. that's on the website, and you can trade out the mm -hmm. vanilla keto chow for the pecan sticky bun. You could indeed. Because this is a couple of years old, but it's a good recipe. I just don't ever want to take that much time to make something. <laughs> Or make something that I know I'm going to overeat, and so I try not to, to do that. Okay. It's good. Else is chocolate peanut butter. I just love it. Warm. Yes. Shared with my son's family yesterday. They also liked it warm. Nice. Yes. Uh, Jackie says it's 174 days until the cruise. Oh, wow. Awesome. It's under six months now. What the heck? So cool. Esther says, is maple coming back? I love it. We haven't decided yet, but thanks for asking. Lynn says, my sticky buns package is waiting for me to pick up. Nice. Yes. And Lady Fritzader says maple waffle is in my top three favorites already. Oh, wow. Nice. Hey, there is a, a survey or something that went out. On the maple the waffle. Email. The easiest way to find it. So we sent out an email mm -hmm. in last week's like, newsletter keto chow newsletter. Yeah. Um, 
But if you didn't get the email or can't find the email or whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you look at our Tuesday live stream uh, from last week, there is a link in the video description to that. Oh, okay. Um, to that survey, you were saying. So, if you want to give us feedback about bringing back the maple, maple waffle. waffle, yeah, then uh, that's where we would receive the information. Indeed, um, Bertolo Saint says, "Can you use any ice cream maker?" So, m what I always say is, the best ice cream maker is the ice cream maker that you have. The second best ice cream maker is the Ninja Creamy. The third best ice cream maker is the Cuisine Art ICE mm -hmm. 120, I think it is, or something like that. I don't know. We did a, re a roundup of different ice cream makers. It was literally a week before we found out about the Ninja Creamy. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, but we got like seven different ice cream makers and tried them. The only one that didn't really work was the little teeny tiny the dash, dash one. one. It still worked, but you could only make half. Yeah, and it didn't and it really get very like icy. Slushy. Yeah, so any ice cream maker seems to work extremely well with keto chow. But if you wanted to like put half in the little dash and then mm -hmm. make it like a little slushy and have half and then drink half later or whatever. Yeah, it would still I work. did try keto chow a couple of years ago with like an old timey ice cream maker like. Ice and ice rock and salt, salt, and it yeah. actually didn't work very well. Mm -hmm. But anyway, any well, of the newer ones. And the thing to work about well. keto chow and freezing is it has so much water yes, in it, it that it just freezes hard like ice. So yeah. you can just freeze it, but then you have to let it sit on the counter for like half an hour and then kind of chunk at it and make it into something. Or you yep. can take that and stick that into a blender. Uh, just play with it and get it the way that you like it. Rita says, got the mineral drops and had a concern about crystals in the bottom. Your customer service was able to answer my concern quickly. Nice. The funny thing about the, I, I don't have a bottle here. It's over there. The Daily Minerals is it's as concentrated as it can be without stuff right. crystallizing just straight up. And so if you do get some crystallization, you can actually just add a little bit of water. Yeah. Would be a good way to do it. In fact, when we were telling, um, teaching some of our employees when they were new about the minerals, oh, yeah. I just took some and I said, watch this. I poured some out on a plate and I said, come back tomorrow and that'll be all hard because yeah. all the water will evaporate. And granted, we're in Utah. Everything is dry. <laughs> everything dries itself here. So you yeah. can do that everywhere maybe. But um, the next day, the plate just had like salty stuff on it and that was just the mineral. So... Um, it's, it is made of that. That's what it's supposed to do. Indeed. Christy says, our UPS guy was lazy this week and I had packages that didn't, that didn't fit into the box. Instead of taking them and putting them on the porch, they literally threw the boxes on the bank behind the box. Lame. Wow, wow, wow. Lame. Uh, Dennis says, my solid fats get gently melted before being, getting pushed into the warm liquid when mixing Kyo Chow. Chances for more black licorice eventually, seasonally. Mm. So the black licorice, yeah. as of right now is not planned, we're not planning to bring it back. So, in fact, check this out. If I go We to, got a page with all the words. We do have a page with all the words. So if you go to shop, Keto Chow, scroll, 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 down to the currently unavailable black licorice is right here. And there's a thing that says, hey, please note, once sold out, there are no plans to restock it. More info here. Yeah. And here we have our flavor status page that uh, has all the different ones so and oh and i'm zoomed in so it's hard to see there we go that thing was covering it up mm -hmm. so for instance uh black licorice is the single meal is discontinued uh 21 meal is not planned so it was introduced and we have decided we will not be restocking it you may find some sizes available while other sizes are sold out. When the supply, if any, runs out, it will not be available for sale, and we do not have current plans to restock it. So that's literally the answer right there. yep -oh. Who knows? Maybe in the future we'll stock it again, but for right now, there are no plans whatsoever to restock it. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. Um, but same thing with the grape. Same thing with the red licorice. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. Holly says, hot chocolate mint is amazing. That was breakfast for me today. Oh, yeah. And Keto Brick introduced a chocolate mint oh, Keto yeah, Brick Oh, yeah. And I didn't order any. Do you know if they're out? I don't know if they're out or not. 
Uh, Joe and Rachel did a, a review of it. Nancy says, we would all love a recipe for making cinnamon rolls or pecan sticky buns with a pecan sticky bun. Please suggest a recipe for this. So we don't have one other than the recipe on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, Vera says, chocolate is the best flavor. I always feel like I am being treated for being a good girl. It makes me happy. Yeah. Good Lisa says I love the chocolate peanut butter. It reminds me of Reese's peanut butter cup. Nice. Yes, me too. So. Esther says my email has gone loco crazy. Loco crazy. Oh, and Lori says there's also a link in the on our Instagram profile for oh, the thank you. Uh, yes. for the survey. Nice. Uh, Kathy says maple waffle is awesome. Crafting Carnivores likes it as well. Judy says the hotel in Austin is within walking distance of the oh, event nice. center. It's a nice hotel, but I remember it's expensive. Mm. Okay. So if you're going to treat yourself to the hotel, then... Okay. Well, and Crafty and Carnivore says I use the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment. Oh, nice. Uh, with the KitchenAid mixer. That's the bowl? That was the, one of the few that I saw that I didn't buy because I was like, eh. Because we, well, we, after we uh, did the roundup, we did a giveaway of and all of the ice cream makers. And we gave all of them away. So. And the KitchenAid bowl attachment wouldn't have the rest of it with it so yep. it made sense not to buy it dennis wants to know if the next meetup speaker will have a book uh we haven't decided on who that person is so i can't tell you whether or not they have a book right i should probably get on top of that yep uh well, that says you can even make keto chow ice cream in a blender right yes, there's a bunch of videos online about doing that uh, jennifer says i got a good deal from third party place that books hotels but as mixed reviews oh, okay yeah. hopefully it's okay Lady Fritzader says, water temperature has, has something to do with how much mineral material it takes for saturation. Yes. Yes, it does. You heat stuff up and it can... Um, it can Change things. You can dissolve more stuff. Stuff. Um, and then you lower the temperature and it comes out of solution. Because if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Sean says, I enjoy the electrolyte tablets. Um, yeah, me too. I like those a lot. Uh, if Ryan Anthony says, kind of glad I ordered many of those non-permanent flavors, red and black licorice, maple waffle, grape, and blueberry pie. Yep. Lisa says, so sad the black licorice no more. That was one of my favorites. I know, the funny I thing it is, um, we had as many of the black licorice as we did of the blueberry pie. Yeah. And the blueberry pie... Well, black licorice is just black I know, licorice. I know. Like, a lot of people hate it. Yep. But... It's just funny to me that um, it's the it, same amount. Yeah, it, it it was the same amount, but clearly, I mean, blue, blueberry is a lot more <sighs> popular. So, um, Bertolos Paint just says, "Whatever happened with uh, PayPal?" So, if I search for PayPal on our website, can I pay with PayPal or Amazon Pay? So, in November 2022, after right a particularly Black worrisome run of quite severe problems with PayPal. We decided to remove PayPal as one of our default payment methods. Transactions that are processed through PayPal also cost us roughly twice as much, but that is not why we made the decision. It is because of PayPal's policies that we removed it as one of the default payment methods. Um, we do have the ability to enable PayPal as a payment option on specific accounts. You just have to contact our customer yep. service. So and they can get it get enabled. It for you. Um, Amazon Pay was removed back in May of 2020 because they were stealing from us, um, <laughs> is the uh, short version. Uh, like I said, it's a long story, but the important part is that Amazon's policies don't work for us. Uh, but we do accept credit card payments, which also includes Apple Pay and Google Pay, as well as a multitude of cryptocurrency methods, which nobody ever uses, if we want to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what happened to PayPal. Um, their policies were not conducive with our business. So, uh, Exchange Student says, I finally bought the creamy and it's still in testing mode. What? Oh, and Dennis says, I mean, Debbie says it, the, the chocolate mint keto bricks are indeed I sold out. Well, the problem was I got the email that said, in 48 hours, we'll have this. So then I went there to buy it and it wasn't 48 hours later. And then I forgot. Oh. Now, Sharon says keto brick is horrible. Now, my take on it is Keto Brick is what it is, and yep. if you like what it is, then you'll like it. If you are expecting, like, a it's candy bar... It tastes like bar, a candy bar. It's oh, not that. Oh, they are salty. They are... It's, well, a, it's a tool to be used yep. in a way that you want to use it. Yep. My friends say I'm a tool. Yeah, I couldn't eat a whole Keto Brick because I don't, I don't want to, 
but I don't mind like melting them down and having them in small amounts mm -hmm. if I need to fill a specific need. So you need fill need. Gordy says, I'm at the gym working out. A guy messaged my QH has been delivered. I just want to leave and try the sticky bun. Mm -hmm. But I must contain myself. Finish your workout, young lady. Yeah, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, man. Crafty and Carnivore says, I couldn't find the link for the survey. So, yeah, where we said it was, um, go it's look on Instagram, there. It's uh, Instagram link yep. on the top. Uh, let's see. Jackie says, maple waffle is one of Jim's top flavors. We have a habit of loving the seasonal. Yeah. Uh, Blaze says, I just checked chocolate mint. Keto brick is sold out. There you go. Thanks, Bessie Blaise. says, I use the last blueberry for my yogurt. Oh, so sad, but grateful for my friend who treated me way back then. Um, you have yogurt that's in the, the strainer, thinking about what it's done I right know, now. I know, I should have taken it out this weekend. Yeah. It's going to be really cream cheesy. Hey. Holly always makes fun of me. You made cream cheese. I'm like, I'm going to put this, this flavor <laughs> well, you put, in Yeah, you anyway put the flavored syrups in there and it gets a lot less yeah. like cream cheese. But the, the longer you let it drain, mm -hmm. the fewer carbs it has. So Joe, who just said good morning, everyone, um, had a trick for um, getting the right amount of nutrition information for the Two Crazy Keto's yogurt. Right. Which he said, yeah, you basically... you. Okay, in this case, we want the higher fat stuff for Miriam, so yes. we're making the original recipe, which is fair life, fair life, and a quart of heavy cream. Right. Well, once you, you create that in chronometer, and then you look at the amount of uh, whey that you drain off mm -hmm. and add that as a negative entry yes. in the recipe, and it subtracts out the carbs that were drained off. So you get a, a much more accurate um, recipe, and it's a way fewer carbs. So Yeah, and it's been working out really good. I actually ate the rest of the last week's yogurt for breakfast this morning. Oh, okay. Except for this much that I put into a container in the freezer for you. Oh, well, we have some in the... Um... Well, now you have some more. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Janice says I mix my chocolate peanut butter and magic bullet with four ounces of macadamia milk oh, and nice. make a spread for my That waffles. sounds amazing. That sounds really good. Thank you, Janice, for saying. I had a thought, too, also on that last subject before, mm. um, is what I've been doing in chronometer, if I end up not eating all of the food that I've weighed out for myself, yeah. is put in a negative amount oh, okay. instead of... Deleting of it and it. changing it, okay. which seems to be a little bit easier. Although typically I don't do that, but I have a couple of times done that. So, or I decided I want to eat some more meat instead of the sugar-free Jello or whatever it is. Okay. Jackie says I always use Shop to pay. I do too. I like Shop Pay the best. It's so great. <laughs> I, I I like it a lot too. Brutalist Paint says I love the electrolytes better ratio than my other electrolytes. Yay. Lots of people saying they don't like black licorice. Mm. See. We can you. still be friends. Yep. Uh, let's see. Janice says, I always use PayPal. It was so easy for me, but I will change. And again, if you want to yeah, enable... Yeah, we can still enable it for just you. Contact just contact customer service. on customer service. And then every time you come over, it'll be there. Uh, Sky says, I've always hated PayPal. I owned a business one time, and they were always problematic. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. I, I'm There's, not going to disagree with that statement. you know statement. what? There's always problems with everything. Like, it... It's just which ones are you going to be willing to yeah. deal with, I think is the thing. Because we have problems on our website. Like, I have problems with other things. I have a whole bunch of returns that I'm doing today, and I have to mm -hmm. go, like, I have to go to Amazon. I have to go to Kohl's. I have to go to, like, three other places just to fill out my stuff. And then and then what's next? Packaging it all up, putting it yep. somewhere. Jackie says you should try to sweet top Joe into handing one of his over. <laughs> Um, I should. I Mike really says should. Tensile makes uh, takes a little time to set up, but it seems to work almost like PayPal. Yeah, and it uh, I think Tensile actually works really good. Yeah. Um, Matt says I haven't even noticed that PayPal went away. I've been using it less and less on websites ever since Chris said it cost them a lot more money. Yeah. It's, it's not that it costs a lot of money. It just costs twice as much as a credit card. Yeah. Well, um, and the credit card fees, you still have to pay those too. Yeah. So it's not like we're not. Ah, oh, Joe says, eating a keto brick right now. <laughs> Curse you, Perry the Platypus. I just wanted to taste it because I don't really eat them all that often. Yeah, but which we have a lot of them. Mint. I know, but not a chocolate mint one. Yeah, but you should be. You, with your macros that you're doing with Robert right now, I should be you doing. should probably be using those pretty frequently. I should. Crafting Carnivore says, I don't. Butter. Instagram, I couldn't find it on the live. Okay, oh well. 
Um, so here we go. It's on the live in the description Keto chow of the YouTube. video. YouTube. You got a T and a slash in there. Oh. Worked anyway. Whoa, magic. Uh, live. Last Tuesday. Here's our last Tuesday one. Gonna pause, pause that. Here's the description. Yeah, just grab the link. There is the survey, so I will Would you click like on to that. Take a survey. Copy wow. that. Now he's gonna hand it to you. We could have done that in the first place. Except it's hard to do hey, the, the whole computery thing. Give a man a fire, you warm him for a day. You mm -hmm. light a man on fire, you warm him for the rest of their life. That's nice, dear. <laughs> uh, Lady Fitzater says my non keto family said they like the chocolate malt keto brick when I brought it for, to Thanksgiving. It's yeah, I, I like that one too. Yeah, and we like to melt it down. Uh, Janice says about four keto bricks are still in my fridge. I tried one. I tried one, not even one. I have to figure out how to use them. Um, melt them down and make them into smaller bricks. Mm -hmm. uh, is the best thing I can recommend. Uh, Brutalist Paint says I'm literally waiting, working in a spot where I can see the UPS guy if he shows up. <laughs> I love it. Holly says oh. it is delicious cream cheese. Yes, it anyway, is you delicious were gonna say, cream sorry. cheese. Oh, I was just going to say, I remember, I think I got an email from Amazon that said that you could do a thank your driver or something. I got a good uh -huh. delivery and that actually works. For the first 1,000 people who think their driver, it works. Oh, it's probably already over then. And there's a lawsuit about that because people are thanking their drivers and then Amazon isn't changing it saying, oh, just kidding, we're not actually going to give it to them. Yeah. I'm actually a bit bitter about it. Dang. But <laughs> so, yeah, just you can kidding. thank your I driver. I brought that up. <laughs> well, now people know. What you can do is if, you're, if your house isn't freezing, put some Diet Cokes on the porch or something. <laughs> Yeah. Or some water bottles. Or, you know, just say thank you. Okay, S Cash has a great question. Uh, when are we going to be caught up on shipping orders? I think we, I think we're caught up. No, we're not quite caught up. Well, we're uh, caught up from last week. They're shipping out Thursday's orders today. I thought they said they were caught up. They're almost caught up. Gosh. Um, we will definitely it's a Christmas be thing. completely caught Everybody's up by Wednesday. Behind. We're probably going to be caught up on tomorrow. It's fine. But, we don't have that many today. I mean, yep. we do have the regular amount of Monday orders, but it's yep. not like over like it's been the last couple of weeks. Joe's got your backs. Thank you. Jackie says, I used two bricks of cream cheese to make some cream cheese jalapeno pig shots. <laughs> Six people, 42 shots. No survivors. <laughs> what there is a jalapeno pig no shot? Survivors. No survivors. No survivors. <laughs> Michelle says, if I use daily minerals, should I... Would I still need some extra magnesium? Uh, depends on depends you. Depends on how you feel. If I, you're, just try it for a few days without the magnesium. If your legs cramp, if you get headaches, if you don't fall asleep at night, then you can add it in. If you're related to me by genetics, you probably need uh, three to four times more magnesium than most people. Yep. But what I would Thanks, recommend <laughs> is only change one variable at a That's time. True. So don't start eating something new and try only the daily minerals. Like yep. keep everything consistent that you usually do, things that you already know you have a good time with. I mean, a regular time with, whatever time with. And then add the daily minerals for three or four days before you change something else. Yep. Speaking of black licorice, Holly says that she liked it. And so did Michelle. Um, on occasion, we have stuff that there's not sufficient stock of it to put it on the website. Oh, right. Okay, so like, for instance, the maple waffle. Yes. So we keep a, a box here that is not on sale for lost packages or, you know, stuff like that that... That we every need to once replace. Or damaged packages that we need to replace. But after, There's only like a couple dozen. Yeah, but after like a month or so, and when we've found all those packages and every, everything is fixed, we will put those in the storefront. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. Yes. It's only available locally. And the problem is if we put it on the website, there's, there's everybody like would get notified there. saying, hey, yeah. you can buy it. And then it would be gone instantly and people would be mad. So, yeah, we only put it in stock here at the Keto yeah. Chow store. So there's front. a benefit at, for actually coming, if you live locally, mm -hmm. for coming in, because we do have some flavors that are available. Yep. Jennifer says, I like the carnivore bar better than Keto Brick. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I think we had the carnivore bar, and we may have got a bad one. Yeah, we did get a bad one. Um, 
I had one later and it was fine. No, but I think uh, what I prefer is purse bacon. Yeah. Which uh, Joe and Rachel showed how to uh, um, uh, desiccate. Vacuum dry, seal? Dry using a dehydrator. Dehydrate? They, they showed how to dehydrate uh, mm. um, bacon, bacon to make purse bacon. But was it good? They said it was. It probably was then. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. There's the link to the, uh, the thing, to the, the survey. Oh. Jackie says, I wonder if we could melt Jackie. a mocha brick and add uh, mint oh, flavor. Oh, well, that's a good idea. It probably could, yeah. Uh, let's see. Shauna says, Chris Bear. Yikes. Okay. Then this is Steve yikes, from Serious Keto tried a small amount of the good and plenty flavor at the last meetup. Said it was on target. I love it. Yeah, that's just mixing the orange cream. Yep. Which is not available still. Sorry. And the... Uh, I have some in my cupboard. <laughs> the black licorice. Oddly enough, so I was testing out a batch of the orange cream and it was really hard to find some old orange cream to, to verify it against. I turns out I had one sitting on my desk like under a pile of papers. And I'm not sure why it was there. It tasted okay, and the, the new batch tasted just like it. Yay. Uh, speaking of delicious things, okay. for dinner tonight, we're having the Sloppy Joe casserole. Where did you get that recipe from? From our website. Ooh. Do you want to show it? Sure. It's really good. Uh, I had that for breakfast with my yogurt, not together, on separate slop plates. And Joe's, slop, but slop and Joe's. But I didn't Joe's. make the topping, like the bread topping, because I just wanted the meat part. So I'm super excited about it. It's delicious. Oh, but you're not making the thing on top? No. Okay. We have Fox Hills rolls, and oh, yeah. I don't want the extra carbs. Didn't we leave all those the, at Holly's house? We did leave a lot okay. of them there, but we have some more. Okay. But I was just thinking, because... I was thinking about orange cream and how it's out of stock. And we have some in our cupboard, but what we don't have in our cupboard is the spicy taco because I oh. used it all last night okay. for dinner tonight. So we need to get some more of that. And the bo the bread is similar to the drop biscuit recipe, and it oh, has okay. the There's a biscuit topping. chicken soup okay. in it too. So it's a good cool. it's a good little bread topping. But I'm just not going to have it because I want less carbs. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mike says, I can tell you the results already. People love maple waffle kiocha. You're, you're not wrong. Yeah. Later, Fitzhater says, melting is 30 seconds in the microwave, then stirring as many times to take you to pour the brick into a mold. Usually three to four rounds. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Yep, that's about right. James Dunn says, maple waffle is awesome. Please keep it. Jackie says, I used to put a cooler of snacks and drinks <laughs> out for the me. delivery drivers, but don't buy the garbage anymore. Yeah, good job. To Crazy Zacchaeus says, we leave snacks and bottled water at the door for the delivery people. Around here, it would be frozen water. It would be frozen. That's the problem. It's <laughs> like, if I put a soda out there, it would explode on the yep. porch. So, I don't know what to put. And I don't want to put this, the bad snacks. We could put some yeah. Quest bars out there, I guess. Mm. Less bad. And then they would uh, have the, the toots because their bodies wouldn't be used to those I sugar alcohols. I don't think that they would with them running mm. back and forth from, I don't know. like, their body would move. And... Platte River Kiosk is the Dwed Pilot Wabbit. Mm. Loves keto chow, right? Jake says, I took jalapeno, brought sliced bacon wrapped around, filled with cream cheese. Got the idea from Hungry Heath. Yeah, yeah that, does, that does sound like one of those Oh, yeah, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. Burlis Paints says, we must okay, be related. I need all the magnesium. Wrap, slice, wrap, mm -hmm. bacon, wrap, filled with cream cheese. Yeah, so it's it's the brat on the bottom with the uh, bacon coming up. Mm-hmm. He actually did a video showing how to do it. Uh, and he says, I'm visiting in July, so I, I <gasps> hope to visit while I'm in Utah. You should. Yeah, we actually have a we little bit of so eggnog at the storefront. Yep. And we have some pumpkin uh, spice caramel. Oh, yeah, we have some pumpkin. There was some black licorice last week, but I haven't looked to see yeah. if there's still some. Uh, they, it, they gave the, like, six packets that were left to you. Oh, maybe that's why um, it's gone. There was a question about eggnog on Reddit. Okay. No, 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 sorry, on Twitter. Okay. Uh, somebody saying, I'm no business expert. But why don't you have eggnog available? And I'm like, well, well we, we ordered what we thought was we the right We thought amount. we were going to order the right amount. Turned out to not be the right amount. They're like, well, why don't you just restock it? Duh. Because like, it takes too long. It takes a minimum of three months up to six months for us to order stuff to get it in stock. They're like, well, why don't you just make it year-round? I'm like, well, we, did. we used to have we did. it year-round, and then people wouldn't buy it except during the, uh, the summer months. So yep. in, I think, 
It was May of 2020 we announced that it would no longer be and available as a permanent so flavor. And Chris was so sad about that. I'm way. an eggnog fiend. I He's like eggnog. So sad. But so, so what I do is I day. buy enough so that it lasts me all year. Mm-hmm. So. But one thing we do have right now is gingerbread, which is we really do. delicious hot. We do have gingerbread. And, and it's you slightly can see through to the mountains. <laughs> Put it in front of your face. Oh, ooh, you want to oh. see the through my face? <laughs> Ollie says, I'll never try the carnivore bar again, the bad one that was bad. That's yeah, it was the thing that was bad. bad. Shauna says, let me message my private pilot for a Utah trip, right? Right. Shane Sina says, I wish I lived locally, except snow. I already live somewhere know, that gets snow, cold, snow. and they need to change that. And just so you know, if you do ever plan to come here and you want to see us, mm-hmm. message us ahead of time so we can make sure that we're available, because we got a lot of meetings and random stuff that we go to, and we would hate for you to come in and be like, can yeah. I talk to Miriam and Chris? And we'd be like, ah, we're out at the office today. Yeah. So we would love to say hi to you. Yep. T. Chris Aquino says, the carnivore bar is just pemmican. Actually, yes, that's what exactly what it is. Yeah, and I think the problem was it was just bad. Like, it had yes, oxidized. I, I think that, yeah. And we just got a bad batch, which was unfortunate because it was at the Carnivore Conference. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a missed opportunity for them. It you was guys would have loved that conference. Holly's going to bring some of the Fox Hills back. They were great to make grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. Oh, that sounds good. I put that in. So I was going to have one today with the Sloppy Joes. Actually, I probably still will have one tonight because I still have enough carbs. And I, it was like seven carbs for total carbs. Okay for a roll, and if I have 15, all I have to do is make sure I don't eat any carbs so I have enough for a roll for dinner. Okay. Karen wants to know about the 21 package limit on the pecan sticky bun. That's per order. Order. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, but we just did that so that it could make it go a little further. Yep. So if you've already got some, you can order more. It's yep. not a problem. Um, Joe says, I, I just want large bags of tomato, basil, and creamy chicken. Those are staples in our oh, kitchen. Here's yeah, the yeah. sad thing about the... Uh, Do we even have those? We are no, not going to be carrying... After, I think we have some that are coming. Yeah, we're not we going to be carrying them That we already ordered. Anymore. But in the future, we're not going to reorder the large bags so of the flavors. So if you have a container flavors. that is designated for those, you'll have to open the little ones and dump it in. Or just put the little ones in the container. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, and, and I would like to keep them... But the problem is we just don't sell very many mm-hmm. of the savory flavors. There's the people who really like it, and I'm one of them. And it causes issues in our warehouse. So we're taking a, a more analytical we're approach to, be smart. to what we keep in stock in the big bags and looking at the a number of meals we sell over a given period of time mm-hmm. to determine whether or not, um, yeah. Anyway, Bertolette's Paint says, that's what my husband calls it, pemmican. Watch video on history of pemmican. So interesting. Yeah, I bet Although it is. technically, real pemmican, I think you dry it and you pound it into a powder and then mix it with the fat. Yeah. And the, uh, the FDA says that that's no bueno, and they do not allow real pemmican to be sold. Oh, okay. Also, uh, another thing is a lot of times with natural products, you won't get the preservatives. So yeah. it, it could be that the carnivore bar just doesn't have any preservatives. Yeah, and I don't it's just think it not going to last as long. So I think it was just a bad batch. The, I, so I totally think that too. Like, I bet it's fine. Lady Fritz Sater says it would take me two days to drive over there to get the eggnog and more pumpkin. One way. Wow. Then you should stay and hang out with us. Uh, Joe says, when melting keto brats, make sure you stir it as you pour it into the mold. Oh, keto bricks. Otherwise, uh, some of them will be a lot saltier than others. Yeah, because it's oh, got grains yes. of salt. Which is like my favorite part. Yeah, and which Joe and I both talked to uh, Robert, Robert about using the popcorn salt instead, which oh, is a lot But that doesn't mean he's going to change his mind. No. The popcorn salt is more expensive also. Probably. Oh. Penny says, I love the gingerbread, my favorite of all. Uh, Plot River Kios says, says gingerbread is my favorite. What do you have? A, uh, I have a snag. Too bad we don't have that uh, extra thread that. <laughs> yeah, did you get thrown away? I threw it away right then and there. Tigris the Kios says, I wonder if you could put the waters in a cooler and have the cooler insulated to keep it from be- being frozen. Yes. Probably. That would work. But the chances of them opening the cooler to get the stuff out? Yeah. Not very. We actually have one of those fancy pants mailbox things that locks, and they never use it. Nope. 
Um, oh, we can put the sous vide on the front porch to keep the drinks from freezing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, Kekla says, thank you for the waffle recipe you mentioned the other day. I made taco beef waffles with um, Cajun seasoning. Wow. To make go with the gumbo. Um, oh, and to create the keto says the shelf life on the keto bricks is one to two years. Yeah, well, the keto bricks last forever. I've never had a bad keto no. brick. Have you? No. We were just talking about carnivore bars, and we had there was another uh, product that it, one of our friends Keho K E H O. Yeah. And they had uh, we had a similar problem. Like, yeah, their stuff only has like a two month shelf life. Yeah, so we just got a bad batch. We got a really bad batch. Lorraine says, love the savory flavors. Glad you're keeping them in singles. And I think the plan is we're going to switch them over to... Singles. The, well, the singles are going to be available year-round. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to it's see. Just, they're really nice to cook with. I just love how you put it in with mm -hmm. your meat. You don't have to drain the fat off, and you can count that fat um, for your macros. And yeah. it, just, it just makes it a thick and really yummy gravy, and I love it. Yeah. So Nancy says, why would people buy 21 singles instead of the big bag? Strangely enough, even though it is more expensive, a lot of people like yeah. the individual s serving instead. Which, and I've always said, you could just buy a big bag and scoop it into Ziploc bags, mm -hmm. like individual ones. But that's more work. It is more work. And some people just really like the singles. It's really nice to be able to take these like to work or throw you it in your purse that with a Ziploc or bag. something like that. Yeah, but if the Ziploc bag doesn't close all the way, your purse is full of gingerbread. My purse is never full of gingerbread. Yes, it is. Always. Yep. Just kidding. RC loves the salty flavors of keto chow. <laughs> Holly says, I don't like pemmican. It reminds me of eating straight lard. As um, Sky says, is, right? are you both usually around when you hold a meetup? Yes. Yeah. But um, I'm running the live stream. Yeah, he's not really there. Yeah. We just need to figure out, like, hire somebody to do that. You yep. just need to let go. You need to let go. Carrie wants to know, can you make keto chow into ice cream with coconut milk? I don't know. I've never made that yeah. before. Yeah. I think coconut cream is better. Have you made it? coconut milk is... Uh, I think it would work, it, but I will I'm, not I definitively like, say no, yes, you can. No, I have not made can. it, so. but it would work. It, right. And I think coconut cream would be better because it's higher fat. Yes. And coconut milk has more sugar in it. So coconut milk is a that's lot just higher something sugar. To think if it's about. what you have, it's what you have. But right. Jackie says, I need to budget for five large pumpkins, five large blueberry, which we don't have. What are you talking about? Oh, we are going to get it. <laughs> and five large mint chocolates so we can, um, so we can each have one shake a week yes. and one batch of pumpkin soup a week. Now, oh, we did have someone verify, I think it was Marie, uh -huh. that you can okay. make the pumpkin sausage soup using oh, the salted, caramel. salted caramel. Right. Well, you probably would make it with any of the flavors, but mm. salted caramel specifically. Um, Val says, when you order recipe cards, are there repeats? Um, no, we just ordered them that month, and then whatever we have left available after the uh, the My Chow kits go out, mm -hmm. then we put those available for people to purchase. Yep. So you can look and see; it'll say what month it is in yeah, and there. Yeah, it has a picture of. It has what a picture, so that you can um, see if you already have that one or not. Then you can order the right one, and we're not going to carry other ones. We're not going to print anymore. We'll just use yep. the ones that we've printed. And they are, a lot of them, most of them are on the website, so. Yep. Lady Fritz Sayers says, the shelf life of singles is appealing compared to an open large bag. And if you are going to open a large bag and use it fairly quickly, I don't know, we have yeah, some that yeah. have been open for we two years ones. and I don't worry about it at all. But, but we also they are climate. sealed up in the little ones, so. Mm -hmm. Bob says, I made maple waffle keto chow using Miriam's recipe to make excellent waffles. Yeah. I we did had that too last week. Two chaffles mm -hmm. with a bunch of sausage in between them that you had mm. made with a maple waffle. It was fantastic. Was that breakfast yesterday? Uh, or Saturday? Maybe. I don't know. I, I was I walking around you. eating it and it was See, good. And seeing my mom brains say something like, eat over a plate! <laughs> I'm the one who cleans up, so I'm going to do what I want. I know, which is why I didn't say it. Because you're not yep. my child. Weird. Mike says the lady at, at, at Kehoe is super nice and took care of me with replacement oh, yeah. when someone bad. Yeah, she's super nice. That's what I'm saying. I think we just got a bad batch. Uh, Rillis Paints says that mm. purchased the vacuum OXO containers for our top flavor big bags we use the most. There you go. Uh, Lady Fritz says, love that pumpkin sausage spicy soup. Really yes. reminded me of drinking peanut satay sauce. That's funny. That's awesome. Uh, RJE says, did anyone discuss if Maple Waffle is coming back? We have not made any announcements about the availability of 
maple mm -hmm. waffle and what's going to go on with the future with that. Right. So stay tuned. Uh, let's see. Penny says, you all have a great day. Got to go to a workout. Okay. Okay. Have a good uh, time. Tigurzi says, oh, talking to uh, Shauna. Shauna. Okay. Well, anything else you want to talk about this morning? Nope. Okay. Well, cool. We're going to take off then. You all have a fantastic day, and mm -hmm. we will catch you tomorrow, actually, for our longer live stream. In the evening. In the evening. All right. Bye, Bye. everybody.